Hello, everybody. My name is Max Convexity. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for the daily update. The market's been closed just a little while now, maybe a half hour. I'm sorry, more like an hour and a half. 419 here in the central time zone. My apologies. Been working on a new video for y'all and it's just taking longer than I thought, just like all of them. All right. So here is the five minute max spreadsheet. Now, the first thing I check when I look at this spreadsheet is the the two columns on the left where it's green and red. Uh, the high yield ETF outperformed in three cases today, three out of the six cases. The benchmark was ahead on triple QI, IWMY and TRES, TRES, the Treasury Alternative Fund. On the other ones, the uh, the. Uh, High yield fund was actually trailing, like Jeff Y actually was a little bit behind its parent asset, reference asset, which would be SPX. USOY was a little behind its reference asset, which would be USO. But now USO was up 3.3% today. So, you know, USOY was still up 1.31%, which is still pretty good. All right. Well, we'll look over here at the current profit and loss. And the bottom two funds, I keep track of uh, different things on. But on a daily basis, I just look at the top line. Well, the current profit and loss is for the day only is in column K. But then for the month is column L. Then we have the earnings per share on the month with column N. And then we have the dividend estimate on the month. So this spreadsheet just simply pulls numbers off of another spreadsheet. And the dividend looks so high on my USOY spreadsheet. I'm pulling it up right now. USOY does not make a trade every day. There are some days that it doesn't make a trade. You can see lines that have a blank. Well, I, I don't know how to tell the, uh, I think that the calculation isn't allowing for that. Uh, so in any event, I'm going to check the numbers and I, I promise that I'll be right by tomorrow. That'd be great if it was 244, but I doubt it's going to be that much, but, uh, let me check the numbers and we'll, we'll see what it is. All right. So now let's look at the charts real quick. The charts have the profit boxes, which we check every day also, because the profit box is a visual representation of what we're shooting for on the high yield funds. They're trying to land inside the area of the box or above it. Okay. So the box is just a visual representation of the option sold. The top line of the box is the strike. So like I can tell, even though I don't remember what strike was sold, I, I can tell it's the 19060 by looking at this box. And then by, by how tall the box is, in other words, how far down it goes. If the box, the box goes down as far as it the amount of depth it tells you how much the, the option was sold for. So 1960 is the strike price. If we went to 1960 is the strike price. If we went to 960 right there, that would be if an op if we sold that option for 100 points. Okay. If we sold the option for 200 points, it'd be 860. Remember when you're selling options, you're a short seller. So you're, you're selling high and buying back low. So the higher, the better. So we want these boxes to be as big as possible, but the market sets, sets the price of the, of the options, but you can visually tell by looking at the, by looking at the boxes, how much premium they were able to, to gather that day. Sometimes it's some days they're able to get more like on this day, they, they, they sold that option for a lot. There's different factors that go into it also. All right. So that's on NASDAQ. Let's check S and P. It's going to be the same looking thing. JEPY is the high yield fund. Look at this. It finished above the, above the strike price. So that's max profit. That's nice. Then of course there's, uh, there's Russell 2000 and the high yield fund is called IWMY. Now, this fund made a, had a big gap down this morning, but rallied all day long and rallied back almost to the max profit line. Almost got there. Great job, IWMY. All right, now let's check out USO. The high yield fund USOY trades USO options. 
I didn't make this profit box come far enough across. This they sold this option. It doesn't expire till Wednesday. This is the one that I'm having to check the strike prices on. All the other ones do daily expirations. This one, you know, doesn't. So that's why I'm suspicious. I may need to relook at my estimation formula. I think it's overestimating. Okay, so this is the area these guys are shooting for. So these guys are shooting for, they want to be in this box or above. So the market, USO could drop all the way between now and tomorrow at the close, could drop all the way to 71, and this thing would still not lose money. Okay, TRES is the fund. It's a treasury alternative fund, a defiance fund. It, it, it tracks uh, TLT. And they have a different situation. I need to make a special video on them, but let's just look. I have an option calculator that calculates the, the value of their position in real time. Okay, so this is today. They're, they're down $2,200 total since they put on the, the trade. This is what their trade looks like for TRES, T-R-E-S. It's considered a long volatility trade because it can make money it makes money off of volatility going crazy. If the market goes way down or if the market goes way up and not, not even that far, like if the market goes, you know, 5% down, this fund would have a gigantic profit, 5% up, you know, gosh forbid, if the market goes 10% in one day, like it does sometimes. This type of strategy is a long volatility strategy. Everything else we're talking about, short volatility. So this fund kind of is a, is a little bit of an oddball. But right now, their position's worth $2,200. Or I'm sorry, it's, it's down $1,500 is what. Now let's look at the buffer report, where we look at kind of a, a graph of how these high-yield funds are doing compared to their parent asset or the reference asset. The high-yield fund is in blue on the left. The reference asset is in red on the right. You can see right here, Tesla was down today, but not quite as much as his parent asset, which we all know was Tesla. Okay, but on the other side, you could say NVIDIA was up today. So, or I'm sorry, NVIDIA, which is the high yield fund, was up today more than NVIDIA, which is the parent asset. That's impressive. Same thing goes for Coinbase. Same thing goes for Ybit. It's a Bitcoin high yield fund. Same thing goes for Misty which is a uh, one based on a, a Bitcoin stock or micro strategies. AMZ had a great day, which is the Amazon based fund. So the bad day goes to AMDY and Apple. They obviously had bad days and so did their high yield fund. As well as Apple. Looks like Apple, Tesla, AMD, Moderna, were the underlines that had a, a rough go of it. Oil, oil looks good. As do a lot of these underlines. Facebook looks solid, but the best looking underlines for today on a one day basis for Coinbase and NVIDIA. That's pretty much the same way it is every day. Okay, here's the high yield indexes. So these, these are high yield funds based on an index instead of a single stock. And this is impressive. The defiance fund, triple QI, outperformed its reference asset today. That's nice. It's a covered call fund, and they don't usually do that. That's, that's impressive. So we had some good outperformance today. IWMY, the Russell 2000 daily short put fund, also outperformed its parent asset as did I triple Q. Nice job, guys. As did YMAG. It's a great day to be an index. The indexes look, look at this. This And this is why I like indexes so much. This isn't why I like indexes, but this is a perfect illustration of how indexes work. Here's single stocks. Here's indexes. Not that indexes can't go down. They do. It, in any event, it just spreads out your risk a little bit. Um, but there's good performance. The only really poor performance in index land was TLTW. 
which is a covered call fund based on TLT. Let's pull up the chart of TLT again. Oh, yeah, TLT was down big today. These are 30-minute bars. But look, TLT gapped down big yesterday, then traded sideways during the day, then, then gapped down big this morning, traded sideways. What do we do tomorrow morning? Probably gap down big again. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, and we'll have more updates. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.